Welcome to clickmyproject.com Now we are going to discuss about the product Payment Crack Detection Algorithm based on densely connected and deeply supervised network. Now we are going to discuss about the abstract of the process. Due to environmental changes and poor quality of construction materials, crack may be developed in the roads, which is critical for maintenance as well as the continuous exposures will cause the severe damage to the environment. Hence, this process is based on the automatic reduction and categorization of cracks in road pavement surface which does not require the manual labeled samples. This is proposed to minimize the human subjective resulting from the traditional visual surveys. At first, the crack deduction is done based on the learning from sample images which is taken from the dataset. For example, the dataset having the hundred of images means that data will be considered as a trained data. The system classifies the non-overlapping images blocks as either it is and consists of the crack pixels or not. Whether it is a crack pixels means it will be detected or else the pixels does not having the crack regions means it will be eliminated. The second part of the work deals with the crack type classifications, otherwise known as the crack type categorizations, for which the another type of classification system is constructed to categorize the detected crack into an connected components by means of calculating the which type of crack is there. Cracks are labeled according to the types defined in the catalog, which each different cracks will be present in the given image receiving the appropriate label. For example, the crack having the horizontal region means it will be labeled as an 1. For example, the crack having the vertical regions means it will be labeled as 2. According to the label of that crack, the which type of label is occurred in that will be predicted. Now we are going to discuss about the flow diagram of the process. At first, this is the initial step of the process. This is the trained images. At first, the training images is taken from the dataset. For example, the dataset having the thousands of images will be there means it will be considered as a trained data. After getting the trained data from the corresponding dataset, the labeling will be considered to label the data. For example, I have in three categories as an output like this means we have to label that three categories separately. After that, the feature will be extracted from the corresponding images. Then the clustering will be done to cluster the categories. For example, we have three kinds of three kinds of outputs will be there means the number of clusters will be the three. Based on that outline is yes, it will be considered as an decisions for whether it is an eliminate stage or else it will go for the testing stage. For example, after getting the testing, we just move on to the pre-processing. That is the pre-processing is a kind of the image resize like that. After that, we have to convert that pre-processed image into one segmentation portions. So in that segmentation portions, it will extract the region of the path cracks whether it is in the horizontal form or else in the vertical form. After extracting the cracks, it will go for the localization and feature extraction. In the localization part where the crack is directed, that will be exactly localized. After that, the features will be extracted from that particular regions. Then the normalization will be done to normalize the features. Then finally, the classification will be done to classify which type of cracks is there. For example, if it is a longitudinal crack means the message box will be pop up like this longitudinal crack. Like this, the three categories of the crack is imported in this process. The results will be in this form. Now we are going to discuss about the initial running procedure of the process. At first, open the MATLAB 2015B and change the current directory. If you want to execute the process, just right click in the main underscore gui.m and select the option run. Now the user interface was open. In that user interface, there are several push buttons in the right side for the controlling axis and then the several axes in the left side for the display purpose. At first click the button input image. Once the input button is clicked, the dataset will be automatically open. You have to select any one image from the dataset. After the selection of the image from the dataset, the corresponding image will be shown in the axis 1 with the title input image. 
After the selection of the input, we just move on to the next step of the process that is the pre-processing. In this pre-processing step, the image will be enhanced. Enhanced in the sense, the background regions will be light, slightly suppressed and then the foreground regions that is the cracked regions will be boosted like this. After enhancing the pixel quality of the image, we just move on to the third step that is the data augmentation. So in this data augmentation, we have implemented the clustering and hence the features will be clustered like this. This is the feature points will be clustered. This is the feature data points will be plotted like this bar chart format. After that, we just move on to the segmentation portion. In this segmentation portion, first of all, approximately identify the region of the cracks like this. Hence, the crack will be in the vertical form. Hence, the binary regions indicate whether the crack is in the vertical or else in the horizontal form. Once the approximate region of segmentation is done, we just move on to the localization. Why we are going for the localization is to just identify the region where the exactly crack is present. Hence, the crack region is detected like this and then the bounding box is applied to mention where the exactly crack is present. After that, once the localization was done, the image will be fine-tuned to convert the image into a binary format. Hence, the background region is white, that is the background region. The crack region is represented in the black pixels. Once the localization was done, the feature is inbuiltly extract. Then, we just move on to the classification part. In this classification part, it will be detected whether the crack is in the position of horizontal or in the vertical. Hence, this is a, is a vertical format. Hence, this shows the line tunnel crack as a message box. After displaying the result of the classification, we just move on to the last step of the process that is the results portion. So, in this result portion, we have two kinds of results that is the width of the crack then the WCS. Hence, the values is shown like this.